more in-depth overview of what the 130 grain .264 Sierra Game Changer bullets did in ballistics gelatin. If you're wanting sample packs to test stuff yourself and want to save some money, go check out submoashooting.com. Guys are great to work with. He's current, you know, consistently adding more stuff to his inventory. Check him out. Um, we'll start with the uh, uh, low velocity loads here. This guy here was roughly 1,600 feet per second. This one was just over 1,800 feet per second. <clears throat> and this one was just under 2,900 feet per second. That first one, you can see a line that comes through here, and this right here is where it tumbled, and then came down and smacked my table. And got a little wood stuck in the end of there, because that's its tip right there. So what you're seeing in some permanent wound cavity here is all because this bullet tumbled. A tumbling bullet is very deceiving. The one going just over 1,800 feet per second, which I think is still a hint slow, but it did all right. There you have your permanent wound cavity. The good portion of it starting about the two and a quarter inch mark, running to the nine and three eighths. And then it <clears throat> sorry about that pin line and its leading edge was roughly twenty four and a half. That uh, decent portion of that permanent wound cavity about two and a quarter. On that high velocity load, you had it pretty well instantaneously opening, going through that board and piece of leather. So from that gel itself, three eighths inch mark to just past the 11 inch mark is where you got that better portion of the permanent wound cavity where then it just uh, pin lines to where it rests with a we're going to call it 18 and 7 eighths penetration to that leading edge. Massive portion of that permanent wound cavity. It's going to be 3 and 7 eighths. So overall, definitely not a bad performing bullet. There are definitely better out there that will perform better on that low end. And hold together about this good on the high end but uh, if you're using these and like them by all means they appear to be a really decent bullet I'm gonna go rinse the gel out of this so I can give you a weight retention And that did come apart, um, but there's 81 grains left there. There was 108.6 left on this guy. So overall, uh, not bad performing bullets. Uh, definitely wouldn't want to go too long a range with them as they, they don't open up at the lower velocities well. But if you're not hunting past three, four hundred yards and want to shoot these out of a creed more like I did, definitely a decent performer bullet. Hope you guys enjoy the video.